Hey, um, I'm just kind of wondering that if any synchronicity is true, then I'm wondering if it's due to our telepathic connection with the world, as in like, you know, quantum non-locality, the same effect happens between two separated particles from up to a thousand miles away, yet the same effect still happens, despite the distance they are from each other, because we're all interconnected from, from unity, you know, comes division, it's not vice versa. I don't know if synchronicity is due to that, like telepathic communication, so I think of, you know, a brown couch, and then someone else just happens to, like, think of a brown couch or just pick, visualize it, so, or if it's due to the wave harmonic of history, as in, like, the actual timing frequency of, like, the Maya and the time wave zero versus the I Ching, like, if there is a fractal um, resonance that's occurring and novelty is getting greater and greater as an in information is condensing. Fridjof Capra talks about the turning point. You know, he also wrote the Tao of Physics. Um, and I'm just wondering if, if synchronicity is due to that similar, you know, pattern. Like, like, for instance, you know, the nine levels of the Jaguar Pyramid, that pattern is in intervals and fractals of 20. So post-2012, everything will be like 0. .000002, whatever, you know faster like as fast and it just doesn't the real question is if it's a conscious effort if we can consciously help change the ether or if we're just you know subjects to uh the ether around us um but either way i i think nietzsche's will to power is very essential because he's saying your ego is part of creation you know the whole world is a work of art that gives birth to itself and i think the will, if it can affect the lightning, and, and Jung was speaking uh, of the distinction between self and the I, because the self encompasses many personalities and possibilities, whereas the I is the conscious controller observer. Um, it's very interesting. The Red Book is really good. I'm trying to think which section I should read y'all next and comment on. I think the section where he pretty much emphasizes the Emerson belief that in the spiritual world, the sexes change at every moment. And he was saying, like, in the Red Book, that if your God is a woman, if you're a man, then your God is a woman. And if you're a woman, your God is a man, as in your other potential highest ideal.